And welcome to the Nozo. That's right. Now, this is a place where we have lots of fun while we learn. I am Janet. I am Ch Ch Charlie. And I am Marara. Ah! And we are so glad that you have joined us today. We are going to have a lot of fun while we learn and we play. Now, our show today is going to tickle you and teach you. So first of all, let's go to the chill out zone and say a big hello to our friends. Hello everyone. Hello. Now our friends are watching us at home. Why don't we say a big hello to them? Hello. Hey, 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 what about me? Hello, Mama. Now we're glad to meet you and we're very excited that you're here to help us with today's show. That's right. Now to start today's fun. Someone please tell us what the show is all about. It's about parts of the body. Excellent. Now, what are the buzzwords? Tooth. Shoulder. Knee. Chin. All right, that is great. Now, for our friends at home, I hope you wrote down the buzzwords. Try and look out for them throughout today's show and in our next adventure. That's right, Maya. But right now, it's time for us to race on to the next adventure and find out what our friends are up to in the playhouse. And then the teacher said that I would lose more teeth and they would grow back bigger and stronger. I know. How many teeth would you have in total? I think we'd have about 32 teeth in the mouth. Um, I don't know. I think the chief has around 64 teeth. That's why he always smiles all the time. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Mr. Zippo, is that you? <coughs> oh. Oh. Mr. Zippo, you opened the door without asking us a question. Oh, I, I'm not feeling too well. Uh, the air doesn't agree with me. Oh no. Is there anything we could do to help? Oh, I don't know. I just feel sick. Where hurts the most? My chest hurts. My shoulders as well. And also my knees. Ah, ah, my stomach. Ah. Oh no. That's bad. And my teeth. Oh. I wonder what could be wrong with him. Maybe there is something inside him that is making him shake. What hand? The hand inside Mr. Zippo. <laughs> there is no hand inside Mr. Zippo. Where would it even fit? <laughs> Mr. Zippo is sick and I think I know what the problem is. What is it? Mr. Zippo has a cold. But if we help him feel better, all his pains will go away. And Marie is right. Maybe the rain made him sick. So, what can we do to make him feel better? On the farm, when one of the animals got sick, my dad would get an old blanket and cover them. When I got sick, my mom gave me medicines and soup. That would make me feel warm from the inside out. Then, let us help Mr. Zippo feel better. He helped me with my tooth. It is the least we can do. Right. I'll go get soup from home. My mom was making some when I left. I'll get an old blanket. And I'll get a first aid kit. What will a first aid kit help with? It has a thermometer inside. That way, we can use the thermometer to check how hot Mr. Zippo is. But we can just touch his head and we will know how hot he is. Okay, let us do that and hurry, Mr. Zippo needs us. I'll stay here and keep an eye on him. Are you 
Okay, Mr. Zipper. Oh. The others will be back soon. Mr. Zippo, don't worry. Come closer. Come, Zack. I need you to do something for me. If you are sure, I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Hey, I got a first aid kit, but it didn't have a thermometer. So, what good is it? It is always good to have a first aid kit. And also, it has something that when you press it, it cools down. I will be the one who's made Mr. Zippo better. Well, I got a soup from my mom and she was glad that I was helping someone who was sick. I, I'm sure the soup will work. It doesn't matter who helps. Just that Mr. Zippo gets better. Now, the only question is, where is Promise? She's probably pulling the blanket off the cow right now. Well, wherever she is, she needs to hurry up. What is on the end of your neck but the beginning of your arms? Your shoulders. Spell it. S-H-O-U-L-D-E-R-S. Correct. Is he doing okay? He's still sneezing. And he, and he looks really sick. Oh, the pain is in my knees. This cold is just bad. Don't worry, Mr. Zippo. I brought you soup and something to cool you. And blanket? I heard someone say blanket. Promise we'll bring their blanket soon. How does that feel? Oh, that's very cool. But don't let the water touch my chin. It's going to mess up my beard. Anything you say, Mr. Zippo? What is sad but soft enough to break? Um, uh, a nail? No. Uh, um, a tooth. Sorry, I kept you waiting. I have to get the warmest blanket in the farm. Ew, it smells like cow. My mom said I couldn't get the ones in the house. She said I'd make them dirty. But this one is also clean. And I got you some oranges. It's fresh. you love it. But first, have some soup. It will keep you warm. Warm? Everywhere? To my last tooth? Even to your last tooth, Mr. Zippo. I feel much better. Told you the soup would work. It was my first aid kit. Ah, uh, it was a blanket you did most of the work. I think it was... I think it was everything. But especially the fact that you all cared about me so much. Thank you very much. I didn't know you could get sick, Mr. Zippo. Well, I can get sick. But we have different things to help us when we come from. What do you do to feel better? Well, every illness can be cured by putting red hot chili on your tongue. Hold on. Hey, want some? From Playhouse, this is Queasy Quiz. According to Anne-Marie, how many teeth would an adult have? 
I think we'll have about 32 teeth in the mouth. An adult would have 32 teeth, according to Anne Marie. What is at the end of your neck and at the beginning of your arms? Your shoulders. At the end of your neck and at the beginning of your arm, you have your shoulders. What did Promise bring to Mr. Zippo to make him feel better? Promise gave Mr. Zippo a warm rug. That was a fantastic story. Did you all enjoy it? Yeah! I really enjoyed that too. And I had a few buzzwords in there. So did I. You know what else I really enjoyed? I loved Quizzy's quiz. I mean, he had me scratching my chin at a few points, but uh, I answered all of his questions correctly. <laughs> hey. That buzzer can only mean one thing. It's time to join Stupendo. As she takes us for more fun with words. It's time for... Hello everyone. Hello teacher Bendo. Now today we are continuing with our last lesson on parts of the body. Now I hope you all remember the parts of the body that we discussed. Oh, well, of course we do remember teacher Bendo. And I remember parts like the thumb, toe, knee, elbow, eye, oh, Okay, Marhara, ear, okay, 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 okay. Let's see how well you all remember. Now I'm going to give you clues and it's up to you and you at home to identify the part of the body I am referring to. Are you ready? Yes! Okay, let's begin. Now, I am the back part of the foot. What am I? Yes, Yusuf? The heel. Mm -hmm, very good. Now, we are useful at work and we can also give a hug. What part are we? Yes, Clara? Ants. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. Now I am between the neck and the arm. What am I? Yes, Sandra? Shoulder. Well done. Now I am the front part of the body between the neck and the upper stomach. What am I? Yes, Dickens? The chest. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. And finally, Marara, we help you to seep and talk. What part of the body are we? Ah, those are lips, Teacher Pendo. Aha, that's right. Well done, everyone. And I hope you got the clues right at home. Now, next, we are going to use... We're going to use how many to ask questions on parts of the body. For example, Yusuf, how many eyes do you have? I have two eyes. Mm -hmm. Good. Now, notice that Yusuf did not just say two. He answered my question in a complete sentence. Now, for the next activity, I will call out a student's name and ask you a question using how many. Now, once you are called out, remember to answer the question in a complete sentence. Now, let's begin. Clara, how many shoulders do you have? I have two shoulders. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. Sandra, how many fingers do you have? I have 10 fingers. Brilliant. Okay, Dickens, how many hands do you have? I have two hands. Brilliant. Okay, and Marara, how many stomachs do you have? Oh, well, I have only one stomach. Uh, can you see anything? <laughs> I can only see one stomach, Marara. Okay. Why don't you keep practicing asking these questions at home? Right now, though, it's time for us to use our eyes and ears to catch up with Maspidi. That's right. It's time for Out There. Hello, good people. I have an interesting class to attend today. A martial arts class. Do you know what that is? Don't worry. You will find out soon. Come on. Let's go and have some fun. This is my friend, Valentine. He teaches martial arts here. He tells me that I'm just in time for the class. Come on, come with me. Let's join them. 
Valentine has been teaching martial arts for over 25 years and he is very good at what he does. He also has his friend Joshua here and together they teach the kids martial arts. Valentine tells me that there are many types of martial arts. What he is teaching the kids here today is called karate. What is karate? Valentine tells me that karate is an art which teaches us self-defense. He also tells me that karate was originally developed in Japan by the Japanese people a very long time ago, long before our grandparents were even born. Did you know that the word karate in Japanese means empty hand? Wow, that's very interesting. Karate involves the use of almost all our body parts like the knees, legs, hands, shoulders, and chest, among others. You didn't hear teeth, so no biting. This means that by training in karate, we get to exercise our bodies. My good friend Tommy here has proven that to be very true. Tommy could not walk before now, but through practicing karate, he is now able to walk. How amazing is that? <laughs> Training in karate also helps us build our confidence. And when you are confident, it means you do not fear anything, like my friend Mahi. She has some very nice kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Karate also teaches us courtesy, respect, and discipline towards each other, as Abdul and Wandori demonstrates here. Though we look so mean to each other, we are not violent. Valentin tells me that karate is a discipline sport which does not encourage violence but instead teaches us how to defend ourselves when necessary. Defense comes in many ways. Even when you are down, you can still defend yourself, as Valentine and Joshua are doing here, by bouncing away from the kicks and punches like a ball. <laughs> wow, I think I'll try that later. Speedy, that was such a wonderful trip out there. Yeah, I love my Speedy's adventures. Now he saves me the trip by going out and showing us so many fun places. I agree, but right now it's time for us to go somewhere different. It's time to get our brains in gear for our fun number game. Yes, it is number fun mixed with speed. And lots of excitement. And the pool is the number pool game. Welcome, 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 welcome! It's time to dive into the number pool and have fun with numbers! Yes, welcome number team. Today we are going to be dealing with division. Now the question is, team, are you ready? Yeah! Alright, so what you have to do is roll the die. 
Now once you've rolled the dice, you must divide the greater number by the lesser number. Now in this case, that would be 4 divided by 2. That's right, then run to the number pool and find the answer hidden amongst the balls. Once you find it, take that to Janet! After your turn, you have to go back to the team, tag the next team member who has to go up to Charlie so they can roll the dice. Now remember, you only have 30 seconds to roll the dice, figure out the solution, find the solution in the number pit, take the solution to Janet and tag the next team member. Now! If you get all the divisions right, then you get to take away these fabulous books back to your school. And not forgetting that we have very special prizes for each one of you. Now, if you hear this noise, then you know that you are out of time. And for you watching us at home, make sure you try and play along as well. Now team, are you ready? Yeah! No way, we can't do it like that. Tim, are you ready? Yeah! yeah! Alright, let's roll the dice. Yusuf, come on out. Here you go. There are your dice. Yusuf roll rolls and Yusuf rolls a... Uh, that's a two and a two. What's two divided by two? One. One. Find a one. Find a one. Come on. Find a one. 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 All right. All right. Clara, you ready? Come on, roll it. And roll she it. rolls. And it's four and a one. What is four divided by one? One. Four. 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 What's four, four divided four. by one? Four. Find a four. All right, find a four. Find a four. Find a four and give it to Janet. Find a four and give it to Janet. Come on, come on. Find a four. Find a four. There, 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 there. Take it, Janet. Find a four. Take give it to Janet. 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 There you go. Sandra, it's your turn now. Roll the dice. And she rolls and we have a two and a one. What's two divided by one? Two. Find a two, find a two, find a two. Find a two, find a two, find a two, find a two. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see a two? Two, yeah. Give it to Janet. Thank you, Jack the last team member. Jack the last team member. Dickens, there you go. Roll it. And Dickens rolls and we have. We have a six and a one. What's six divided by one? Find a six. Come on, find a six. Find the number six. Find the number six. Give it to Janet. Give it to Janet. Take the six. That's it. Oh, yeah. We well have done. ran right. out of time, but just in time for you to give me the last answer. Now let's get to find out how everyone did. First person to come up here, roll the dice, was Yusuf. Yusuf, you rolled and got two and two. Two divided by two is one. One, one. Are you sure? Pretty easy, I have to say. Let's see what you gave us. Uh, oh, oh yay! Very well done. Very well done. That's a good start, I have to say. Second person up was Clara. You rolled four and one. Four divided by one is what? Four. Charlie, I can see you counting. Just stop. No, You're no, terrible I, I, at I've got it, I've got it. All right, let's see if they gave us a four. Uh -huh. And do you think, let's see no. if they give us a four. I, I don't think it's a four. Okay. <laughs> Very well done, team. Uh, third person to come up here and roll the dice, Sandra. Sandra, you rolled two and one. Two divided by one is what? Two. two. Uh, now we know anything divided by one is that uh, digit. So. Okay, uh, two. Okay. Very well, well done. done. Well done. You guys are moving very fast. I have to say, uh, last person, Dickens. Dickens, you rolled six and one. Six divided by one is what? Six. Six divided by one is one? Six. Are you sure we had a six in there? No yes. No. Charlie is sure. I think, I think we had nine. Oh, nine. Sixes. No, Dickens, so. are you sure that was a six? Very sure. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. All the sums correct. We have to clap for them again. Ah, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> now, team, that's one, two, three, four sums you've gotten correct. Now, that means one thing, team leader Yusuf, come on up. Congratulations. These books now belong to you and your school. Now, look straight over there and show everyone at home your books. A round of applause. Yeah. And that is not all. You each get a storybook from Moa. Come on up and get your storybooks. Come, come, come. 
All right, now if you had as much fun playing number pool like we did, be sure to join Stupendo later on for more fun with numbers on hot numbers. Ooh. That was crazy. I actually really enjoyed that. <laughs> Intense. I see you're catching up. Okay. Right now, let's move on to other things. Now let's go and visit with our favorite girl, Dunia, as she takes us around the world on... It's our world. everyone so like i promised we are going to go back to the magic medicine mill and see how they make plants to pills however just in case you missed last week's episode here is a quick recap we met the medicine plants team at their garden in gilgil they showed us around their garden where they have hundreds of different medicinal plants we saw plants that help headaches tummy ache backache and even eye drops. We watched as they pick them, then dry them, and then bring the dried leaves to the mill. They cleaned the mill and prepared it for use. They put on protective gear and this is where we got to. They were just about to press the on button. Okay, so ready? Let's start. So they turn on the mill. Then they label the bag that they collect the product in so they know which bag contains which plant. This one is milk thistle. This is said to be good for our livers and can help prevent some cancers. Then the dried plants are fed into the mill through a funnel like a mouth. The dried plants are churned up by a spinning wheel inside the mill making it into a powder which then travels up the chimney and is put out into the collection bag at the end. Once all the leaves have been put into the mill they close the mouth so nothing else falls in. And now we have powdered milk thistle in a bag, just like that. This powder is taken here to the final stage of the process. This is where the powder is put into capsules. One lady fills a tray with empty capsules. When every hole has a capsule in it, she pours powdered milk thistle into each one. While this is happening, another lady prepares a similar tray of empty capsules. These are the lids. The first lady uses a compressor tray to squeeze the powder tightly down into the capsules. Then she takes the lids, lines them up with the bottom capsules, and presses down. And ta-da! There you have your complete and perfect milk thistle peel. These pills are counted out into bags to be sold. Amazing! I want to start learning about what plants can cure my headaches and tummy aches. That way, when I feel sick, I can try and find some help in my garden. Oh! That means I need to first plant a garden. Uh-oh! I have a lot of work to do. See you all next week for more about our world. Bye! Hey guys, don't forget that you can get this fun revision booklet delivered to you for free. 
It will cover all the subjects that you've learned in Term 1 and help with your revision. All you need to do is ask your parent or your teacher to help you send an SMS to this number, 30606. Start your SMS with the word booklet, then your name and address, and we will send it to you. And parents, there are some special tests you can do with your children to help you know how good they are doing in school. Have a fantastic week. Bye. Oh, you know, I love our world. It was so interesting. Did you all enjoy our world? Yes! You know, Dunia is so great. And I love seeing what lovely things we can do to help our world. True, Mara. And we should keep thinking about that as we take a break. That's right, but don't go too far because we still have more fun coming up. Oh yes, we have Spell It and an animated story. And more number fun with Teacher Pendo. All that and more right here on The No Zone. So we will see you and you after the break. Welcome back to the No Zone, the place where we have lots of fun while we learn. Now, do you remember what the buzzwords are? Yes! Excellent. Now, why don't we remind ourselves and everyone who's watching us at home what the buzzwords are? Tooth. Shoulder. Knee. Chin. Great! Now all these buzzwords teach us about parts of the body. Now remember to look out for those words throughout today's fun. I know what that sound means. Teacher Pendo is ready for us with more number fun. It's time for... Hot Numbers! Hello everyone. Hello, Teacher Pendo. Welcome to Hot Numbers. Oh, Teacher Pendo. Yes, Marara. I hope you do remember what you promised us in our last number session. Are you sure I made any promises? Oh. I'll just keep promises. Uh, what did I promise you? You said that this week we will continue with number patterns. Now, last time we did a few and I wanted to do more. I'm sure you are aware that I am a very clever lion. Of course I do remember, Marara. We were going to do number patterns, and Marara, it's not good to blow your own trumpet. Oh, what? Trumpet? What? But, but I don't even have a trumpet. Okay, Marara, it is a saying which simply says, stop showing off to others. Oh, okay? Uh, okay? You don't have to tell us that you're a clever lion all the time. Well, well, well I'm sorry, Teacher Pendo. I'll be more sensitive. It's okay, Marara, and we all love you very much. Okay, so today I'd like us to do some number patterns. Now, last week I told you it is very important to look at the sequence or to look and understand the pattern. The ones we did last week involved adding. Today, we will do adding and subtracting. Now, let's look at the first row of numbers, okay? Look at the first row of numbers. And somebody please give me the sequence. Who can see the pattern? Yes, Nicole? You add four. Mm -hmm, that's right. Now we keep adding four to get the next number. So four plus four gives us eight. Eight plus four gives us 12. 12 plus four gives us 16. So what will be our next number? Yes, John? 20. 20, very good. So 16 plus 4 gives us 20. Who wants to attempt the next one? Yes, Ismail? 24. 24, brilliant. Okay, so what is going to be our next number? Yes, Salma? 27. Just think carefully. We're adding 4. So 24 plus 4 would give us what? 28. Excellent, that is right. So that is 28. Okay, we have the next number. So 28 plus 4 gives us 32. So what is going to be the next number? 32 plus 4 would give us what? Oh, um, Teacher Pendo? Yes, Marara. Uh, can I try? Yes, go ahead. So that would be 32 
plus four. One, two, three. That, that would be 36. Aha, very good. Well said, Marara. So that is going to be 36. Very good work. Now, if you look carefully, you will notice that there is a pattern which is imagined. And you can actually get the next three numbers without adding. So Marara, can you give us the next three numbers? Well, yeah, um, I can try. Mm -hmm. So the next number will be after 36. That's 40. Mm -hmm. Then 44. Mm -hmm. And finally... 48. Aha, very good. Well done. Now, let's look at the next row of numbers. So I have my next row of numbers here. So look very carefully to see the pattern. Now, Marara, would you like to help us understand what the pattern is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Teacher Pendo, for that opportunity. Okay, Marara, why do you sound so official? Well, I'm trying to be sensitive and polite. <laughs> okay, now let's see. What is the pattern? Um, 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 oh, I see. We're adding six. That is correct, Marara. Now, I am going to give you a few minutes to fill in the number pattern using the paper and pen you have in front of you. And please make sure you join in at home and let's fill in the number patterns. Okay, so who wants to attempt the first one? Nicole, will you fill in for us the first one? Yes. Okay, so just write that down and let's show everyone at home what we have as our answer. So Marara said the pattern is six. Okay, so what's your, what's your answer? 24, please show everyone at home what answer you have there. Mm -hmm. Very good. So our answer here is 24, well done. Okay, moving on to the next one. Who wants to attempt this for us? John, go right ahead. Right for us and show everyone at home what the answer is. Mm -hmm. Show everyone at home what the answer is. Aha, very good. So we have 30 here. All right. So the next answer is already written out for us. So 30 plus 6 gives us 33. Who wants to try the next one? 36. Yes, Ismail? Okay, Ismail, show everyone at home what the answer is. 42, well done. So our answer is 42 there. And you can see the next answer is written out for us. 42 plus 6 gives us 48. 48 plus 6 gives us 54. And you can see that a pattern here is already emerging. So the key numbers here are 6, 2, 8, 4, 0. Okay, so what is our next answer then? Yes, Salma. Write for us the answer and show everyone at home what you have there. Show everyone at home. 60. Excellent. So the answer there is 60. Very nice effort from all of you, well done. Now before we come to the end of our lesson today, I'd like us to do another number pattern. Okay, so let's look at it very carefully. Marara, can you tell us what the pattern is? The first thing I have noted is that the numbers are going down instead of up. Mm -hmm. And because I am a clever lion, I'd like to tell everybody that this time we are not adding but subtracting. Uh -huh. And we are subtracting three. Uh -huh. Excellent. Thank you, Marara, for making things seem very clear. I think we all understand now what we are doing. So what is going to be our first missing number here 
Yes, Nicole? 77. 77. Excellent. So 80 minus 3 gives us 77. Excellent. So what is going to be our next missing number? Yes, John? 74. 74. Very good. 74 is our missing number. Brilliant. And what is going to be the next one? Yes, Salma? 71. 71. Excellent. So the next one is already written out for us. So 71, take away 3, gives us 68. What is our missing number here? Yes, Ismail? 65. 65, excellent. Very good. That was good teamwork. Well, I'm afraid we're out of time for today, but we'll be back next time for more hot numbers. Now, though, it's time for us to flex our creative muscles. That's right. It's time for Creative Zone. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Creative Zone. Now, I hope you remember all of the moves that we did last time because today we're doing something a little bit different. So joining us today in the dance zone is Semi, our student learners who are our friends in the studio, and Dottie. Now Dottie, what are we doing today? Oh, yes. Oh, what? Hey. Hip hop. It's hip hop. <laughs> that was intense. Now, tell me, that looks a bit difficult. Are we going to be able to do that? Oh, yeah. I know our studio friends and you watching at home will definitely keep up. All right. I'm going to get into my learning hip hop outfit. Lights up. <laughs> I love it when I do that. I'll see you guys later. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, Sammy, let's get going. The first movement, it's called the flash. And this is how we do it and in. And the second movement is called the slide. And we slide forward and backwards. And the third movement, of course, is a groove. And this is how we groove. Let's groove, guys. And woo, woo, yeah, yeah, all right. And our fourth movement, it's a kick and a punch. And we kick and punch, all right. Of course, we can't leave you without doing your favorite movement, and that is the doggy. And guys, let's show them how to doggy. And five, six, seven, eight, and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, hope you're enjoying it and having fun. And now we're going to do it with music and hope you join in the fun. Five, six, seven, eight. Pop and pop and forward, backwards and groove and kick and punch. Up and close and one, two, three, four and daggy, 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 daggy and round, round, round. Yeah, hope you enjoy it. My, 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 didn't you guys have an amazing time or what? We are going to leave you with Janet, Charlie and Marara in the chill out zone as my friends and I continue to groove. Six and five, six, seven, eight. Flash, close and forward, step backwards. That was a really interesting creative zone. Yes, it was. And it was so much fun. You know, I want to go and practice. Well, Mara, unfortunately, your practice has to wait because it's time for us to test our word power. Now, it won't be too hard, but see if you can keep up with our four competitors. That is Salma, Ismail, John and Nicole. It's time for Spell It. Animal, animal. chapter, building, building. narrow, building. respect, respect. deep, vegetable, work, work, work. 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 To spell it! Now, this is the place where we play with our words and our letters. Nicole. Yes. Isma. Yes. And Salma. Yes. You are about to step out of the shadows and into the spotlight to compete for the title of today's Nose on Spelling Champion. That's right. Now, the winner of today's competition will win their school a Nose on Dictionary and a very special prize for themselves. Now, each contestant has just 25 seconds to spell correctly as many words as they can. If you would like a word repeated, simply say repeat and the word will be repeated for you. Are the rules clear? Yes. yes! All right, all of today's words will be coming from our topic of what, Marara? 
parts of the body. All right, let's get straight into it. John, you're up first. Come on down and step into the spotlight. John, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Lip. L I P. Feet. F W E T. Mouth. M O U T H. Nose. N O S E. Wrist. Repeat. Wrist. R I ST chest. Well done, well, John. Well, well, well done. Well done. <laughs> Nicole, you're up next. Come on down and step in the spotlight. Nicole, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. To. Repeat. To. T O W L. Legs. L E G S. Face. F A C E hand H A N D knee repeat knee N double E thumb repeat well done yeah, Nicole well, well done, done. Great. Ismail you're up next come on down and step into the spotlight Ismail your 25 seconds of spelling starts now yeah E A R Chin C H I N Heel H I Double L Head H E A D Toes T E O S Cheek C Well done, it's well, well done, it's fine. And finally, Salma, it's your turn now. Come on down and step in the spotlight. Salma, your 25 seconds of spelling starts now. Um. A-M. Nail. N-E-N. Tooth. T-O-O-O-T-H. Eyes. E-Y-E. S. Uncle. U N C L E. Neck. Ah, uh, well done, right. Salma. Well right. done. Very well done. Now, Charlie. Oh yes. Please reveal the results. Aha! I have results right here, and they are final. I'll start with Salma. Salma. You spelt the word uncle correctly. However, the word that Janet had asked you to spell was ankle, A-N-K-L-E. However, you spelt two words correctly. Let's give a round of applause. Congratulations, Salma. And now, Ismail. You spelt the word hill correctly, H-I-L-L. -L. But we're dealing with parts of the body. The word that Janet asked you to spell is heel, H-double-E-L. Still, you spelled three words correctly. Let's give them a round of applause. Well done, Ismail. Well done. That leaves us with Nicole and John. Now, Nicole, although you spelled the word toll, T-O-double-L, -L, correctly, the word that Janet asked you to spell was toe, T-O-E. You also ran out of time spelling the word thumb. That being said, you spelled one, two, three words correctly. <laughs> and finally, we have John. Now, John, Janet asked you to spell the word wrist, which is spelled W-R-R. I S T. The W is silent. You spelt it R I S T. The correct spelling, as I said, is W R I S T. And you ran out of time before you could finish spelling the word chest. Nonetheless, you spelt one, two, three, 
four words correctly. Which means that the winner of today's nose on spelling competition with four words spelled correctly is John. Step forward, John. Congratulations. You are today's nose on spelling champion. I hope you're happy because here is your dictionary. Show everyone at home your dictionary right there. A round of applause for John. Congratulations, John, and of course, well done to all of you for spelling so many words correctly. And for that, you each get a storybook. So come on up and get your storybook. Come on up. Come, come, go get your storybook. Now, of course, the fun doesn't stop here because Teacher Pendo is waiting. Uh, she's waiting for us with more fun and words on cool words. Welcome back to Cool Words. Now on the board, I have some parts of the body that we have been discussing. Now let's read them out loud together. Ear, Ear lips, lips, chin, chin shoulder, elbow, elbow, knee, ankle. Very good. Now the next activity will require the studio class to work in two groups. Now in front of you, you have a diagram of the human body. Now I'd like you to label the drawing showing where all the parts of the body are. So are we all ready? Yes. So let's get started. So write the body parts. You can have one member write as the other one mentions the body parts. So how are we getting on? Are we fine? Mm -mm, no copying from my board. Okay, now let's look at the drawings together and I'll ask each of you to touch a part of your body and then we will check on the drawing that you have right there, whether you have it right. So Yusuf, I'd like you to go first, touch your chin and then your shoulders. This is my chin and these are my shoulders. Very good. Now Clara, I'd like you to touch your arm and then wave your hands. This is my arm and these are my hands. Okay, excellent. Now, Sandra, touch your elbow with your thumb. This is my elbow. Fantastic. Now, Dickens, touch your knee and then your ankle. This is my knee and this is my ankle. Aha, well done. Okay, Marara, I'd like you to touch your chest. This is my Yes. Well done and good job to all of you. I see you've all managed to name all the parts of the body correctly. You can all practice this at home and see how well you can label your body parts. Now sadly we've run out of time for today but be sure to join us next time for more fun with words. Right now though it's time for something that you're all going to enjoy. That's right it's time for Story Zone. Last time, hares stole their other animal's food. Let's find out what they do to catch him. What is Lion doing? He is making a gate. He has a hammer, he has a saw, he has a lot of nails. He is making a gate. Monkey has a pot. What is in the pot? It is gum. Lion says, Put the gum on the gate, elephant. We will catch hair. What is elephant doing? 
He is putting the gum on the gate. The gum is on the gate. Zebra and elephant are behind a tree. Lion is behind a tree. Can you see monkey? They are all hiding. Here is hare. He wants food. He is looking at the gate. He says, Lion is silly. I can open the gate. I will get the food. What is Hare doing? His right hand is on the gate. It is stuck. The gate is not open. Hare says, ah, Open gate. Why don't you open? What is Hare doing? His left hand is on the gate. It is stuck. The gate is not open. He says, Open gate? Why don't you open? You are a silly gate. I will kick you. Look at Hare. His right foot is on the gate. It is stuck. He says, Open gate? Why don't you open? You are a silly gate. I will kick you. Look at her. His left foot is on the gate. It is stuck. He says, Open gate. Why don't you open? You are a silly gate. Look at her. His right hand is on the gate. His left hand is on the gate. His right foot is on the gate. His left foot is on the gate. What can he do? Hare says, Open gate? Why don't you open? You are a silly gate. I will open you with my nose. Look at Hare. His right hand is on the gate. His left hand is on the gate. His right foot is on the gate. His left foot is on the gate. His nose is on the gate. He is stuck. He is stuck on the gate. What can he do? Lion says, Good morning, Hare. Huh? What are you doing here? You are a thief. You are bad. You want to steal our potatoes. You want to steal our maize. You want to steal our beans. We will kill you, Hare. We will drop you into the water. Hare says, Don't drop me in water. Dropping me in the water will not kill me. Hold my tail. Swing me round and round. Swinging me round and round will kill me. What is Elephant doing? He is holding Hare's tail. He is swinging Hare round and round. Look at Elephant. Where is Hare? What is Elephant holding? He is holding Hare's tail. What is Hare doing? He is running to his house. Look at his small tail. Hare is in his house. He says, You are silly Elephant. You can swing me round and round. That will not kill a hair. From Playhouse, this is Queasy Quiz. What does the lion build to protect the farm? He is making a gate. Lion builds a gate to protect the farm. What is in the pot monkey is carrying? What is in the pot? It is gum. In the pot monkey is carrying, there is gum. What happens to Hare's tail when elephant is swinging him round and round? While he does that, it comes off. Thanks to our man Quizzy Quiz for all of that excellent quiz action. That's right, and I think I can help Quizzy once in a while. And maybe, just maybe, I can learn to rap as well as dance. Mara, Mara, I think uh, just you shaking your shoulders is good enough. Now, did you enjoy the story? Yes! 
So did I. And it is the perfect way for us to end our show today. And thank you for helping us out with the show today. And we had so much fun. Did you all have fun? Yes! Well, we enjoyed hanging out with you and we loved you guys coming through to hang out with us. Now, make sure that you join us next week for more fun, more learning and more games right here on The No Zone. Come on, everyone. Let's say good, 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 goodbye. Bye! Bye.